people have a hard time understanding the role that uh, rotation in the knee joint plays in skiing and actually many movement sports uh, to be honest and so I'm going to try and just uh, show a little bit of an example of how much movement there is in the knee and perhaps when you could use that so <clears throat> if I've got my left foot up on the stool here I can keep my upper leg completely still and utilizing uh, my subtalar joint mostly and my knee joint can create quite a, a considerable, considerable amount of rotation that is completely independent of anything else happening in the body. So when my lower leg is rotating out, the hamstrings on this lateral side are actually contracting and, and pulling and the hamstrings on this medial side, inner side, are actually lengthening a little bit and they swap in this uh, internal rotation of the lower leg. Now you should be able to see that there's quite a bit more uh, external lateral rotation compared to internal rotation. <clears throat> People also think that as soon as the knee is out of the straight position you are weaker I'm just going to show you right now. I'm going to put my leg into a lateral position and I'm now going to stand up. No pain on my knee, no strain, just a bit of a struggle because I'm on a stool. Uh, internal rotation. Up I go. The foot of the stool wants to untwist as I move that. Because uh, when you get into extension, that's when your knee will really lock and and hold its kind of ideal position. But you have got some power and some strength when your knee is actually in this position. When it's sort of dangerous is if you were in, say, an externally rotated position, but you were pushing up with your knee on that angle. Now I don't feel so great on the knee joint. But if my tibia is vertical or the forces are coming up vertically through here and I've got uh, an external rotation, it's actually a massive workout for my vastus medialis quad muscle to help build it there. And, uh, and for the lateral one, if you've got your rotation this way. So for skiing, uh, you'd wanna have the ability to isolate moving this joint. <clears throat> you'd also wanna have the ability to, uh, or you'd wanna train strength in these ranges and because um, you're going to find that at certain points in the turn you're going to need some mobility in uh, the knee joint in rotation. Uh, oh, I finally will say, so there's open chain rotation of the knee joint. Here is just showing how much closed chain I've got here. So see my tibial tuberosity foot is still pointed at you, yet look where my thigh is. So other way you'll see I can't get quite as far as soon as I start going any further than I don't know maybe 15 degrees or something here my foot wants to turn on the stool so there it is uh, rotation in the knee joint uh, don't be afraid of it I would be more inclined to train strength mobility and awareness of, of using it so there you go